Once upon a time, in 1964, a Spanish teacher named Angel Belalta received a proposal from some U.S. teachers to receive a small group of American students in Barcelona to study another language and culture, to cross political borders, and to expand the geographical boundaries of some young Americans' minds and hearts. Schoolboys abroad had been born. Over the years, the school changed. The number of students rose. The student body grew more diverse. They traveled by plane rather than by boat. And most importantly, they came to a country that had become a democracy. The school's basic mission did not change when, after a long and difficult decision, in 1998, the school moved to Zaragoza. Asleep in a building, up in the sky, under the earth, in a train, there on the ocean. Drink in their hand and a smile on their shoulder. The weight of the world, the food. This school has been so important for me that it's not like anybody who says, well, I have been working in this place. No, this is more because really it meant, for me, it meant uh, everything in the school. Opening a convenient store like a ghost Walking through the atmosphere in their clothes Working on a trailer for a movie Hoping for a miracle one day The fool Something fascinating trying to figure out. Woody Allen, that great American philosopher, <laughs> once said that 80% uh, of success in life is about showing up. Thank you all for showing up here. So I showed up at SYA 40 years ago, 48 years ago. And it changed my life. The end result is um, it's a richer life. It's a life lived with more texture, more dimension. And uh, I think some people say a window on another world. But I really think it's a window on a room that has lots of windows that looks out on many other worlds and make sure that you give them all plenty of opportunities to show up. They're everywhere you turn.